Here are just a couple of examples of what we are going to make with ChatGPT5 in this video. But trust me, these are just the warm ups. It's gonna get way cooler later on in the video. I'm gonna show you even more generations that I created with ChatGPT5, and I'm gonna give you all the prompts that I used. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> boy. I didn't even think that ChatGPT5 could pull this off. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip that you can use so you get super high resolution generations that you created with ChatGPT. And by the way, all these images are generated with my own photo. So you could use your own photos to generate these images. If you have one photo of yourself, that's enough to create these awesome images using ChatGPT. Here I'm at ChatGPT. And what we want to do is we want to create a new chat with ChatGPT. Now, the first thing what we want to do is we want to upload our photo. Now, here you can see I have this photo of myself. It's just a screenshot of one of my videos. And I'm gonna use that for all the generations. So I have one photo and that is enough. So first of all, let's go here to ChatGPT. And when you look at the top, you can see we have ChatGPT5 here. So make sure you have ChatGPT5. Then we're gonna go to add files and we want to select add photos. And here I'm gonna select my photo. Now I'm gonna upload this. Then I will take my prompt and I will copy paste this inside this field here. So in ask anything, we're gonna copy this prompt and we're gonna place it here. So this is the first generation. And all we have to do is we have to send it and ChatGPT will create this image. And there is the generation and look at that. That looks like a high resolution image of me as a football player. And look at the rain in the background. It looks super realistic and it's like a movie poster or something. By the way, in case you didn't know, all these prompts that I use, I will put them in the description of the video so you don't have to write the whole prompt yourself. You can just copy paste it and put it in ChatGPT5 and upload your own photo and then you get the same kind of edits. To create a new image, again, I'm gonna upload my own photo and then I'm gonna paste this next prompt. And here is the next prompt. Copy paste, send it to ChatGPT and let it do its job. All right, and there is the generation. It looks like I'm a little bit older in this image, I think, but it looks pretty neat with me in a private jet, drinking a beer and having some expensive watches. All right, let's do another one. Let's go back to ChatGPT. The next prompt is super long. Look at that. Look how many text we have here, but it's a really awesome generation. So let's click on generate and let's see what ChatGPT creates from this super long prompt. Now, while this is being created, I'm gonna give you a tip. When you use ChatGPT and you insert these prompts, don't go with the first generation. Do it a couple of times because I noticed that when you do one generation, sometimes it looks horrible and the other time it will look amazing. So the best way to do this is to just do it a couple of times, like two or three times, and then you can pick the best one. That worked for me, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work for you too. So let's go back to the ChatGPT prompt. And there is the next generation, and look at that. Look at the light effects we got in the background. You can see the choppers there. It just looks like a really awesome Photoshop image, although we didn't use Photoshop at all, and I can imagine how much time this would cost if I would do this in Photoshop. So let's go to the next one. Let's create another one. And I'm gonna go to new chat again and I'm gonna copy paste this other prompt. All right, so this is the next prompt. It's also pretty long and let's just generate this. And here is the result of the generation. This could be something like a video game, maybe on the cover of a video game. I like the contrast between the background and the foreground. It really separates me in this case from the background. All right, let's do another one. And this is gonna be a long prompt again. And look at that, the prompt is a post-apocalyptic cinematic movie poster. So this is gonna be something with zombies. And let's just generate this and see the result. And there is the generation. Look at all those details in this image. We got a lot of details in the background and also in the foreground. I imagine if I would do this in Photoshop, it's gonna take days to get everything done but now we're getting everything in a couple of seconds. Obviously, we are not creating this ourselves. We're just giving the prompt. But if we are just looking at the end result, it looks amazing. Now let's do another one. And this one will be a cinematic cyberpunk artwork. So let's just see what the result will be. And there it is. Look at that. Look at the neon lights in the background. We got amazing rim lights. I like how the rim lights are reflecting on the body and the face. This looks a little bit like a mix of cyberpunk and Duke Nukem, 
but it definitely looks futuristic and we're getting the vibes of a video game. I even look a little bit like the Terminator there. Just look at the background, how much lighting we got from that. And the rim lights are amazing. It looks like a really cool video game. Now, as you noticed, all these generations are not so high resolution. And if you want to get high resolution, you need to use other software to upscale them. I use third party software to upscale these images to really high resolution. And if you want to know which software I use, make sure to check out one of these videos where I show the tools that I use to make these images super high resolution. So that is my bonus tip. Make sure to use one of these tools to upscale your images to super high resolution and to get the best possible quality. So thanks for watching this video and catch you on the next one.